Hey guys, welcome to another episode of This and That with Roxy. It looks like a lot of us are doing what we call a staycation this summer. We are staying home for our summer vacation due to circumstances beyond our control. We There's nothing we can do about it, so let's just make the best of it. That is why today I'm going to give you six summertime activity ideas that you can do with your families, whether you have little kids or teenagers. And yes, let's get those teenagers involved in some summer fun with their families. Your first tip is take a virtual vacation or a virtual tour, virtual field trip, whatever you want to call it. We live in the age of technology, which means we have the internet. We can practically go anywhere we want to go with the click of our mouse. So go ahead and go to Google, type in virtual field trips, virtual vacations, and see where that takes you. I know there are some zoos that are doing it, but some of them do have certain times that they are doing that. So you might want to check to see what time it is so you can see the little animals walking around. Museums are doing it. You can take tours of old famous houses like I know you can George Washington's house. You can even take tours of exotic places. Uh, there, the possibilities really are endless. So go ahead and check out those virtual tours. And the best part is you can do it from home in your pajamas. That is the best part. Seriously, it is. Number two, do movies at home. You can do a movie and a picnic or a movie and a treat night. Get some pizza, make some pizza, have the kids make a list of the movies they want to see. Go ahead and sit down on the couch and watch all those movies. Or better yet, you can watch them outside. You just have to make sure you have, you, you know, a computer with your internet or one with a DVD player or you can hook up an external drive to it and watch those movies. Pop some popcorn. If you have an air popper, dust that thing off because it is the next best thing to movie theater popcorn. And if you don't have an air popper, that's okay. Use microwave popcorn in a bag. Not a big deal. You can even make popcorn on your stove. Or if you have a campfire ring, you get a little tool, fill it with the popcorn and make it over a campfire. The thing is, Enjoy this time spent with your family. Enjoy the movies that you are watching as a family. Your third tip, water. Do something with water. It is summertime, people. Let's cool off. Have an outdoor pool. Have a family swimming party. Don't have an outdoor pool? That's okay. Get a slip and slide if you can find it. Those things are so much fun. Put the hose on it and go sliding down. You can do the sprinklers or better yet, you can have a water balloon fight, play dodgeball with it. There you go. Walmart has these cool little water balloon fillers. It's a pump, you fill it up and then you pump it and fill up your water balloons. It's the easiest thing. You can get water balloons from the dollar store. So divvy up your family and have that dodgeball water ball fight. You are going to love it. At least I hope so. Your next tip, as cliche as it is, seriously play board games. Board games can be so much fun, and there are so many different kinds of board games. There's Catan, there's Risk, there's Ticket to Ride, so many different versions of Monopoly, I've lost count. There's Uno, there's Scrabble. Just go to Google, type in board games for the family to play, and voila. Go to Amazon.com, Walmart.com, order it in, and it's shipped right to your house. Or if you like, hey, I like to play video games, Minecraft is a great one to play as a family. They even have what they call Minecraft Worlds where they will host a server for you. You have to pay a monthly fee though and you can play with your family or even invite your friends to it and have a little summer fun with some friends involved while staying home and staying safe. Your next one, which could be a lot of fun, you could have your own cooking show. Pick some exotic recipes from around the world, pick your teams, and get cooking. Make sure though somebody is the judge. You do need one of those. You can record the whole thing and post it onto TikTok. There you go. Have some prizes and just enjoy cooking. Share the recipe because other people will be like, ooh, I want to know what cuisine that is. 
Then your last and final summertime activity that you can do, but only if your state says it is okay, go geocaching. It's a great way to have fun as a family, get a little bit of exercise in, and go on a treasure hunt. You go to geocaching.com, find caches in your area. You can use your cell phone GPS to find it, or if you have a handheld GPS, you can use that. Well, you walk around, you dig up your little treasure, you take something, you leave something. Sometimes you have to sign a log book and voila, you just had fun. And the really cool part is with geocaching, you can find a travel bug. A travel bug has a unique number on it that I think geocaching.com, you can type it in. You'll have to research that. And it will tell you everywhere this little travel bug has been. Some of them have been literally all around the world. That is really, really unique. And it's interesting to see where they've been. Go ahead and if you find one, find out where it's been, log where you found it, and then you move it to a new location so you can keep it traveling and other people can find it and see where it's been. It's a really, really great experience. I highly recommend it, but like I said, only if your state says you can do outdoor activities. We don't want anybody to get in trouble. So there you go. There are six summertime activities you can do with your friends and family for cheap. And you won't break the piggy bank. That's the best part, right? Anyways, thanks for listening. Be safe. Take care. Remember to always be fierce, be spunky, and most of all, be you. Until next time, au revoir.